Good afternoon from the Hearts at War project. Just a um, another one in a series of short videos that we're uh, putting together, looking at items that have uh, very kindly been loaned to us uh, to display within the exhibition. Um, this particular one here probably doesn't need too much introduction, even if you're not really a First World War uh, First World War fan. This is the German First World War pickle halb or spiked helmet. Um, now this is a pretty much a, a leftover from the Imperial and sort of a Victorian era um, and uh, originally when, when in the field in 1914 these were first uh, issued as a, a leather construction, a leather body with uh, brass fittings. Um, in this case this version is actually known as an ersatz version, a kind of substitute. Um, the reason, well this is actually constructed of a kind of pressed felt, one piece pressed felt. The reason that this was um, uh, constructed in this way is because the German uh, supply of uh, leather was dwindling fairly quickly as the German army uh, increased in size quite rapidly in 1914 and so um, other methods of pressing a, a helmet were, were put into place. Now this particular one is from the German state of Baden um, denoted by the um, by the, the emblem on the front, each uh, each state had its own unique emblem. In this case, it's Baden, and also on the side, on either side, we have the state colours on the cockades there. That one being Baden, and this side being Imperial Germany. So it tells us a fair bit about it. Um, we can also assume that this helmet was introduced probably in a, either late, very late 1914 or in 1915. Um, as you can tell. As a uh, fairly thin and very light construction um, with a, a lovely liner inside it, still in great condition, and a ventilation hole at the top which matches up with the holes there. Um, this wouldn't really support much. You, you wouldn't want to be wearing this and have a piece of shrapnel come down your head because it's not going to give you much protection. And uh, that is the reason why the pickle helm was phased out um, by 1916 with the introduction of the German uh, style helm or steel helmet, which we have looked at again recently. Um, and uh, by sort of end of 1916 these were pretty much uh, resigned to either reserve or uh, ceremonial duties only as the uh, the introduction of the style helm meant there was a, a reduction in deaths from head injuries on the battlefield by something approximately around 70 percent which is a you know substantial substantial improvement um, but nevertheless fairly iconic item very pleased to have this on display amongst other things here at the exhibition so uh, uh, there we are Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.